Hello everyone, this is Katherine Pitts. Thank you again for visiting my channel. Um, before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share. And I am back to do a Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM review. Um, I purchased the Neverfull back in May. And the purpose of buying the Neverfull was to take it on travels. So I did travel with my Neverfull this summer. And um, I have it here. I'm going to show you guys the Neverfull MM and um, Demir Ebeen. Um, you can see I have a or purse organizer in it, so that's why it's so square around the bottom. And I'll show you what's in my bag in a minute. But um, I took it with me for travel. And I must say, that was the worst thing I could have ever done. I had no idea that um, people would take the name Never Fall literally and try to continue to fill it with stuff. And when I say people, I'm mainly talking about my wonderful husband. So, because we were traveling and a lot of times we had to take things in, open things up, put things back, put stuff up, take it out, going through customs, going through um, security, going through um, ticketing, counter and everything, they always needed to see something, either passport, ID, um, if we had like our wallets, cell phone. So, because my bag was always open... He thought it was uh, open for him. So one example I want to talk about is when we were on the plane and it was time to depart the plane. Normally, the things that we have out during the, the flight, like our iPad, our cell phone, our headphones, our snacks, normally he would go and go to the top, take his book bag out, and put those things in his book bag. But because I had the never full and it was open, he thought it was so awesome that he could just drop all his stuff in my bag. Now, mind you, I already had my headphones, my magazine, my wallet, my items in there, my cosmetic bag. Um, but no, he wanted to see if it actually lived up to his name. So I have learned instead of doing that to myself, I will no longer carry the Never Fool doing travel. What I have decided to do, which is wonderful, is I have made my Never Fool my everyday bag so that I can monitor what's in it and what's out of it. So let me show you what I carry in my never fall bag every day that has made me grow to love it. So my cosmetic bag and it is full to the brim and I have it full with um, medicine, lotion, lip gloss, throat lozenges, um, the tool that I use to latch my hair, headphones, my headphones for my iPhone, uh, mouthwash spray, you know, breath spray, Sharpie. So I have a little bit of everything. I also have what it's meant for, which is makeup. have that in here, wipes for my glasses. So I have it filled to the brim, pencils, pens, my little square for my phone. So anything that I would need is in this cosmetic bag. And you see I have it stuffed, which I shouldn't have it stuffed. But I want the inside of my bag to look neat. As you may see, I want it to look neat. So I keep all the things that will... Just be at the bottom of your bag and my toiletry bag. I also have my sunglasses. I have my sunglasses and 
See my Bulgaris. Got my sunglasses in here, and they're in their case. So, and it fits in the case nicely, no stretching. I can uh, close it comfortably. Have that. I have my most favorite wallet, the Daily Organizer, that I have all my cards, medical cards, store cards. I also have my initials in here as well as on my bag. So I have them in these two places. I have my passport holder in here. So my daily organizer is in here. Have my eyeglass case. Trying to see, can you see? Also, Bugari sunglasses. I mean eyeglasses that I have on. I have my keys. Which I only have two keys here, house key and car key. have my coin pouch, a couple coins in here, that's it. Um, but what I use this for is when I'm running into the store and I don't want to take this, I take out what I need, stick it in here, and I carry this. So, then I have the organizer inside. There's a couple pins right there. So, that is pretty much what I carry, I have the uh, pouch, the pochette that came with the bag. I don't really use it. I'm trying to see what I want to use it for. Mainly, I carry it as a clutch when I go out, and that's the only time I really use it. But when it's uh, when I'm not using it as a clutch, I just keep it in my bag behind the little uh, red flap and keep it flat so it can stay clean. Put my organizer back in. And all the stuff you see here is what I carry every day. I do have a separate bag that I use to carry my lunch and any documents. I have another bag for that. But this is my uh, purse, my everyday purse, my cell phone goes in here and everything has a place if, as you can see I want to show you everything has a, a pocket to go in and then the space in the middle is where I put my cosmetic bag so I don't want to keep the keep you too long on this video I just wanted to do a never full update like I promised back in May and again, I just want to reiterate, I will never carry this bag as part of my travel set again. Not because of me, of course, because of my sweet husband who wants to fill it up to the brim, not realizing it gets heavy with these thin straps on your shoulder. And then I have to carry everything. So I'm looking to see what else I'm going to carry um, doing travels, I'm really thinking about getting a Louis Vuitton backpack um, or maybe an MCM backpack. I have seen a couple people with the MCM backpack. I think my uh, Muslim sweetheart from Philly, I think she has a MCM backpack. And I also think One Fire has a... I think she has a MCM bag like the Neverfull or a backpack, I'm not sure, but I am looking for a backpack to carry during travels now instead of having the Neverfull. Then I can also not worry about the security issue, which was one of my main concerns of having an open bag with important documents in it. But the backpack will be secure and on my back. And during the time that I feel that I'm not safe, I will carry it in the front. So I hope I answered anybody's questions and I hope I uh, explained why I won't carry this at, for travel anymore but why I do use it for every day. So if that made you decide if you want it and never full or not, it's up to you. If you can carry it every day without a problem, 
awesome. Or if it's good for your travels, then awesome. But I do think a number four is something you need to put in your collection. Right along with the Alma and the Speedy. Speedy is one I don't have yet. I do have an Alma. Speedy is one I don't have, but it is on my list to get. Um, not this year, possibly next year. Um, I will work on getting a Speedy, but number four is one that you need to get in your collection. Now, it's up to you if you decide to have a lighter color, darker color, monogram, um, really your preference. I needed a darker color because I am messy, and I put use makeup and everything, so I didn't want anything that will change colors or have discoloration or the... The ink in my clothes, the dye in my clothes will rub off on my purse. So I got what works for me. And like I say, as an everyday bag, it has been awesome. So thank you so much uh, for visiting my page, my LV lovers. Look out for another video coming up of an unboxing. My birthday was last month, and I was blessed by my husband with some more Louis Vuitton. And I will do an unboxing of those items on my next video. So thank you so much. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.